Happy Saturday, folks. Just showing you the discus here. The colors on these, these two are pretty amazing. Really pretty eyes as well. But I'm, I'm worried about a parasite in this tank. And actually, I'm not really, I'm worried about more than one parasite in this tank. So, what I'm going to do, I don't really do medication, but look, I just want to show you what I'm looking at. This discus right here, this guy has not eaten for a few days. See the gills? Gills are kind of inflamed. It's been back there. It's not aggressive for food. I can't get it to eat. I'm going to lose that fish if I don't medicate. So, um... I've done a water change. I've done everything I can. I know to do. I did a water change, a big one, a few days ago, and that was actually when I posted a video to you guys. And that was the main reason that fish back there in the back. It's been hanging back there in the back. It's breathing heavy. It's not eating. It's not aggressive for food. See how the fin's kind of down on it. And so, not like these guys. The fin on these guys is is up. You know, they're aggressive. They're coming for food. They're fighting with each other. It's all good stuff. But that fish, I'm really, see, look, look, even its fin is kind of droopy. If you look back there. But it's just, it's panning, heavy breathing. And there's also, uh, it looked like there was something on its side fins. But so I'm going to medicate this tank. I don't ever really medicate out of a panic. I know it's a parasite. I can tell it's a parasite. I saw some stuff on its fins. I'm going to lose this tank if I don't do, if I, if I keep doing the same thing, that fish is going to be, uh, it, it won't be alive come Monday. So, I've done some research. This is a medication that I looked at just to kind of have around. This was my plan B. Had it in inventory, plan B. This is what I'm going to add right here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I've got a little glass right here that I'm going to put 12 tablets in because it's a 120 gallon tank and let them dissolve and then pour that solution into this tank. One of the things that's going to happen when I pour that solution into this tank, any shrimp or crabs, not that there's crabs in here, but the shrimp that are in here are toast. And I'm hoping I don't lose anything else. And then, uh, and then I'll do a water change. I'm going to let that sit for like two days and then I'll do a water change Monday. So... But that's the hope. But I'm, I'm hoping I can save this guy. This guy's fighting something. But, you know, if your fish isn't eating and you notice it hasn't eaten for a few days, and I'm actually honestly going to try to feed it really quick. And if I can't feed it and it doesn't eat any food here in just a second, I'm going with the medicine. I'm pulling the trigger because I haven't seen that thing eat in a few days. And you can see the abdomen on it. It's, it's kind of dented in, which is a sign of showing it's just it has not eaten. So... Anyway, fingers crossed, hoping it does well. This this fish is like freaking booming. It, it came in the same size as these smaller ones, and this guy has done nothing but eat and grow. So, But uh, anyway, I don't want to lose any more fish. Hoping I can keep that one alive, and uh, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. See ya. Happy Saturday. Later.